Hello, my name is Ken George. I'm running at large for the Cary Town Council. I would love to serve you, and I'm asking for your vote on May 17th. I'm the local candidate in the race who best understands the issues. Born in Rex Hospital, raised near Crossroads Shopping Center in the Swift Creek area, I attended Cary Elementary School where I used to sign myself out and walk to the orthodontist downtown when Cary only had three stoplights. I played Little League Baseball at West Raleigh. My five sons followed in my steps and also played there. Now three of my grandsons play there. I've got deep roots in the community. I marched in the Cary High School band and graduated from Cary High School, as did all six of our children. We're a family of imps. I spent my life volunteering for causes I believe in. In the fall of 1988, just after Karen and I, along with our six children, moved into the house we now live in in Cary, I bumped into Mayor Coca Booth at the hardware store. He had been our band booster president. I asked him, how can I serve and volunteer in Cary? He suggested I apply for a board or commission, which I did and was appointed the next month by the council. I've been serving the community ever since. Just a few years later, I started a business in Cary, NetSmart, signing the front of paychecks ever since. I want to support businesses in Cary so they can grow and thrive coming out of the pandemic. It's in my DNA, literally. In fact, our third son, Andrew, followed in my steps and opened a business in Cary as well. His Aquatot Swim School has been teaching water safety in Cary nearly 10 years to thousands of children. I was attending Kingswood Elementary in 1970 on the first Earth Day. I've been a lifelong environmentalist, taking seriously the impact of pollution on our planet. In 2018, Karen and I traveled to Norway, north of the Arctic Circle, and witnessed firsthand some of the effects of the melting polar ice cap. But I haven't just been on the sidelines. I led the effort on the council to have the town of Cary prioritize solar energy. I didn't win the fight to get solar panels on the parking deck by the downtown library, but the legacy of my fight has been to see the town adopt the use of solar panels on future new town construction. I've worked to save trees and neighborhoods, worked with HOAs to get upfitted LED lighting with Duke Energy, and helped investigate when neighbors reported illegal pumping of muddy water into their ponds. I negotiated with the builders to go beyond requirements to remediate some of the problems they caused. Actions speak louder than words. You see, with our 18 grandchildren, I want to make a difference in Carrie's future, to leave the planet better than we found it, and to instill in them a desire to preserve it for future generations a, and their grandchildren, a generation that will bring in the 22nd century. As housing prices soar in the area, many are benefiting with growth and home equity. But to those who aren't homeowners, we're seeing their hopes of buying a house in Cary slip away. These are serious issues that deserve serious work. I want our kids and grandkids to be able to live in Cary too. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves with anyone with good ideas. This is not a partisan issue. Just as clean water, good roads, increasing the tree canopy, ending, expanding greenways, and developing more parks and green space are not partisan issues. These are Cary issues, my issues. I have a history of working with all sides, all points of view. I'm the only candidate in the race endorsed by uh, members of both parties on the state council. Democratic State Auditor Beth Wood and Republican Dale Falwell have, are supporting my candidacy, both of whom spend their time and energy fighting for you, the taxpayer. I want to do the same on the local level, making sure every tax dollar of yours and mine is spent wisely. Join me in the fight by voting for me on May 17th, or come out early, beginning April 28th, and vote for Ken George, the candidate fighting for our grandchildren's future here in Cary. Hello, I'm Carissa Johnson. I'm an at-large candidate for Cary Town Council. And thank you so much for your time, and I'm greatly honored to be considered for this role. Um, I'd be very honored to serve you on council. I want to tell you a little bit about me um, and who I am. 
I'm from Western New York. I uh, moved here in 1996, and like so many others, I'm from a tight-knit family that worked really hard for really everything we had. Um, I was the first in my family to go to college. I got a bachelor's degree at Nazareth College in Rochester, but I started out at junior college and went through the SUNY system. Um, I moved to North Carolina, and I've been here in Cary for 23 of the 26 years that I've lived in this beautiful state. Um, I'm so proud to call this my forever home, and now I'm really fortunate. I'm a full-time IT software marketer, um, so I have a really great job that I love, and I get to do it at home here in beautiful Cary. Um, I'll be forever grateful that I was able to raise my beautiful 18-year-old daughter here in Cary. She was born in Cary, and she went through Wake County Public Schools and Cary Elementary School, all the way through Cary High. Um, she's now at UNC Charlotte, and I'm so grateful that she was able to experience the kind of amenities and security that people get when they live in Cary. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about me as a person and give you an idea of how I would approach elected office. Um, there, you know, the honest truth is I don't have a firm position on some municipal um, matters. It's not um, because I'm indecisive. It's because I do believe some issues and challenges really need to be considered on an individual basis and carefully considered based off of information that should be gathered at the time when you're making the decision. I'm a natural fact gatherer. Um, I do prefer to seek out information, but also I really like to talk to the people who are affected by things and who have more knowledge than I do. So I'll never be afraid to say I'm not sure or I don't know and ask the hard questions. I do try to listen and not make assumptions, but really as a person, I'm incredibly, incredibly practical. Um, I have this kind of what's doable perspective that I take when making decisions or when considering something that's difficult or challenging. Um, as a decision maker, I typically really seek balance, uh, whether considering something like a zoning variance or how to allot budget money. Um, I believe that it's really important to have a fair and deeply considered position and not make assumptions ahead of time. Um, I also believe it's really important, particularly in a place like Cary, to find balance between growth and preservation. And I know a lot of folks in Cary are feeling you know, some pain one way or the other. And I think there's a lot of really great things we can do to consider both. Um, I'm not competitive. Uh, I do want to do what's best for most people, and I really value service to others. I've served on the Information Services Advisory Board for the town and the Cary 150 Sesquicentennial Commission, um, but I'm also a guardian ad litem, and I advocate for neglected and abused children in Wake County. Um, now I ask that the voters consider me so that I can be of service to the citizens in Cary. Uh, finally, I want to tell you what I am passionate about and what I do come with an opinion about. First, affordable housing and housing affordability is an issue that's absolutely paramount to me because I've lived through housing insecurity. There are points in my life where I'd gotten laid off and I had two jobs to try to make ends meet and pay student loan debt. Um, I know what it's like to lie in bed at night and worry about where my daughter and I were gonna end up. But unlike so many people, I have energy to work, 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 but really I had a safety net. I had friends and family that could come to my rescue and help. Um, I'll be forever grateful for their help, but I also want to be part of really what would be a municipal safety net and working with other leaders to try to find ways to make housing affordability a reality for others. Second, protecting, protecting the environment is something I'm really passionate about. Um, I want my daughter's world to be as healthy and clean and beautiful as mine has been, and I want the same for you and your family and children. I believe Cary can be a leader in green initiatives like solar renewable energy, um, green building standards, and other environmental uh, preservation activities. And finally, I'm very passionate about, passionate about engaging citizens. I would like to hear what you think. Please visit electcarissa.com and take my citizen survey and thank you. Hello, I'm Renee Miller and I'm running for Cary Town Council District C. 
District C runs from the rapidly changing Eastern Gateway with the Fenton, Epic Games headquarters, the anticipated redevelopment of South Hills, and growth in the Crossroads and Waverly areas, down past 540 to the, to the neighborhoods of Middle Creek. From Holly Springs Road to Old Apex Road, so much is growing and changing. Our town needs to implement strategic growth that considers more than the developer and the new citizen. We need to be sure that we get growth that lets us also maintain the community that we love. Our infrastructure must keep up with our growth so that when we get home to carry, we are not rattled by potholes and frustrated by traffic. Our public services need to be balanced with our growth so that citizens get fresh water, quality sewer service, timely garbage pickup, and other public services regardless of how much we grow. We need to feel safe when we park our cars to walk on a greenway or leave a vehicle in the driveway at night. Our first responders need to be supported. We need to be sure that they have what they need to help Cary stay one of the safest places to live in the country. We also need to be sure that they have the personnel and equipment required to answer the call as we grow. All this, and we still have the lowest municipal tax rate in Wake County. Yet we must continue to be vigilant in using tax dollars wisely and letting the taxpayers get the most value for their money. This means recognizing that we also have very high property values. Balancing our tax rates with property values is important. The town should not collect more than it truly needs. Those same high property values are resulting in a housing affordability problem. We need creative, out-of-the-box solutions to address the need for housing that fits the budgets of many who would like to live in the community where they work. We may not be able to solve the problem for everyone, but I believe we can make a big difference. With a background in business and the experience of entrepreneurial thinking, I am well qualified to join the team leading Cary into the future. I have run a small business, been a volunteer, and taught my children in a successful home school. Soon after we moved to Cary 12 years ago, my husband and I participated in the Imagine Cary initiative. This project led to the Cary Community Plan, which influences the development of Cary today. My volunteer work has allowed me to promote Cary to others. We routinely encourage members of our Speech and Debate League not just to compete in Cary, but to enjoy our town as well. Our FTC robotics team routinely reached out to the Cary community, sharing their excitement for technology with others. Recently, I accepted an appointment to the town's Greenway Committee. We promote our greenways and provide citizen advice to the town staff. I offer a fresh viewpoint based on experience. I study the issues and I ask a lot of questions. I'll focus on safety, strategic growth, balanced infrastructure, and low taxes. Elect Renee Miller to Cary Town Council, District C. Learn more at VoteReneeMiller.com. Hi, I'm Council Member Jack Smith seeking re-election to Cary Town Council, District C. I first ran because I felt citizens' concerns were not being addressed, and I wanted to change that, and I did. In all my years in office, my guiding principles have remained the same, that we maintain our quality of life while keeping our neighborhoods safe and livable, that we protect and improve our environment, and that we promote economic development while maintaining a live within our means budget. It's that simple, yet it's complex to make happen. On my watch, we've grown from 20,000 to 180,000 citizens. We've provided an extraordinary range of quality of life amenities, yet never losing sight of what made us so special. Today, Carrie is recognized as the premier friendly place to raise our children, and we remain one of the safest cities in the nation. Quite a challenge in these turbulent times. Our parks, recreation, and cultural resources are second to none. And now, 
we have a vibrant downtown. And very important to me, we are a welcoming and inclusive community. I received my US citizenship in 1967, and it is the foundation that has helped me in my efforts to nurture this culture of inclusiveness, a welcoming place for all, and over 60 nationalities call Kerry home. And I believe this has helped Kerry stay above the vitriol of outside special interests and divisive partisan politics impacting other communities. Look around. Is that what you want? Help me keep Kerry's council focused on Kerry's issues. Our nationally recognized environmental efforts is the secret sauce that has helped us attract major companies and startups, and we are now an emerging entrepreneurial hotbed. Our citizens demand we lead in these environmental efforts, and companies recognize our talented workforce is not moving. They have to come here. And over 50% of those who live in Cary work in Cary. This has helped us maintain the lowest tax rate in Wake County, Yet don't be fooled, we remain a socially responsible community. An important, or sadly, a unfortunate consequence of our success is the high cost of housing. And there is no easy answer. But through my efforts, we have significantly increased our spending on programs to help lower housing costs for those who need the help the most. And I'm proud of our recent efforts partnering with not-for-profits to build a more affordable housing for those folks in need. Much has been accomplished, but you and I both know there is much more to do. And I'm up for the challenge of keeping Carrie that shining star others can only dream about. I'm Jack Smith and I respectfully ask for your vote on May 17th. Thank you.